Kung Cassius IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Fight camp week two done. Eddie Hearn has a bit of blood on his I shirt. Uh, yes, it was. Uh, that was that was Jazz's uh, from Kid Galahad at the end there. Just watching it on TV there. What great performance from Kid Galahad. I mean, people talked about his inactivity. People talked about he looked a little bit drained on the scales. But what a performance! You know, he. Uh, he, he done the business and uh, congratulations to him. Had to kind of bide his time over his career. He's been in the sport a long time. I've said that five with Warrington, but it is about timing. And tonight was about Galad. Yeah, it was. And, you know, Jazza was incredibly brave. Um, I think the corner pulled him out at the right time, potentially maybe around before that. But you can't, you know, he, he was he was throwing back. He was, he was doing everything he could. But it was the accuracy of Kid Galahad, you know, it was the... He punches very hard and very sharp, and it was just beautiful. His footwork, the body work, you know, the, the sharp shots, the accuracy. He busted up Jazza Dickens' face, and, and Sheffield has a new world champion. It makes sense for Kid Galahad to potentially fight the winner of Warrington Lara. He wants Warrington. We know why. Yeah, I think there's a number of big fights out there for him. I mean, Josh Warrington right now, his mind is on Maurizio Lara. That's his career in the balance at Headingley on September the 4th. Lee Wood. You know, he's another guy. I know that Kid Galahad made a few comments about the regular title and stuff like that. I mean, if Lee Wood gets elevated to the Super Championship, Lee Wood against Kid Galahad for the WBA, IBF, you know, could even be moving towards the Ring Magazine Championship. Warrington was supposed to be fighting uh, Kanzu for the Ring Magazine Championship. Um, so you've got Navarretti as well, great fight. Gary Russell, uh, Leo Santa Cruz, what's he doing? And I think, you know, the next move for Kid Galahad is defence in Sheffield and then move on to a unification fight straight after. I know you're a little bit pushing time because you've got to do your own matchroom stuff. Oh, we've got to just do some big media, yeah. All right, mate. Let's run through the rest of the show. Alan Babbage mate. tonight. I know you're smiling about Alan Babbage. Wins the fight in a tougher fight than yeah. what he expected with Mark Bennett. Comes out the ring, proposes to his girlfriend, who said yes, by the way. Just how can you lo not love the savage? And you go on social media and you look at the trends and it's like number one. Uh, Babbage, Bennett, number two, Savage, number three. I mean, it's just people love him and he's really entertaining. And, and he's always up against it because he's 14 stone, really. I mean, he has to basically put all his clothes on just to even make heavyweight. Bennett's 19 stone six and a fair play to him. He's stuck in there. I'm watching that now as well. And um, he's just, he's just non-stop fun. How far can he go? We're going to see because there are many, many levels above Mark Bennett. But I'll tell you what, he is so exciting. So exciting and uh, non-stop action and what a character. Hold on, Kel, Kel, come here. Come here. Come here, Kel, come here. Sorry, I just saw you in the background. He loves it. Needed to get you he in. Needed to get you in. Um, Ooh, I know. Look at him, he's coming up in there now. He's a seven-figure brother. Didn't say too much He's about the Emir Khan fight. Where are we with it? Well, I mean, look, I think both of those guys identify that fight as the fight, you know, maybe even the only fight for them. Uh, I like to see Conor Ben in that mix as well. But, you know, I think these guys want to make as much money as possible. They'll talk to everyone and they'll do the best deal for them. Any more to add on that, Kel? I just think Bar Fury AJ, it's still the biggest, biggest fight in British boxing. And I think everyone will still get very, very excited about that fight. He, he, know, he knows that he knows that that fight. I want that fight, don't you? You do. Well, you've always wanted that. I've wanted that fight. fight. And I that think fight. I think that oh, he actually fight. wants it now. I think yeah. you want it as much as you did six, seven years ago. Of course I do. I've done everything in my career. That is the grudge match. What I'll just finish. The icing on cake. That's the fight that the world needs to see. Are we are we close or what? Come on. Oh, as I said, look, he, the, the both guys want as much money as possible. So we are we are a small piece of that. If it, if it's a, if there's a deal to be done, there's a deal to be done. But you know, we'll see. I mean, Amir. I mean, seems like Amir Khan's more on my fighter these days. How things have changed, you know. I'm joking, man. Come on, <laughs> he knows. You two will uh, always I'll, be I'll, good. I'll, I'll, yeah, well, listen, of course we go back a long way. From Hills you know, Centre. I know. Huh? Sitting in your yeah. kitchen, sorting out your fights. But anyway, that's another. That's for the book. That's for your book. But the other thing is is. Amir Khan does genuinely want the fight, I believe. And that's always so you think been the I want it? Yeah, you've always wanted the fight. Will it happen? Uh, I think if everyone's sensible, yeah. It will happen. It's got to, hasn't it? We still want to we'll see it. See we it. still it want to see it. Now. As fans, we still want to see it. I want to do that. You know what I want to do to the guy? There you go.
Go on, we'll let you get back with Kev. Go ahead. And yeah, I'd just like to say one thing before he goes. Yeah. Don't look that heavy either. I've got my nutritionist Greg down here. It's a good sign. Something must be happening. It's a good sign. Yeah. Get it on, Kel. Come on, let's see it. Kid Galloway, let me tell you about Kid Galloway. I've already spoken about Kid Galloway. Okay, fair enough. He's, he's been... Boxed very well. Boxed very well. Um, he's been everywhere with me, watching me do it. And, uh, you know, he, he, you know, he, were, he, was, he come short last time against Warrington. But he's, he's, he's finally got there tonight. The red world and champion. gold has been passed the on. The red and gold has been passed on. We've got a new world champion in the gym. There you go. Absolutely. It's been a long time coming, but he finally got there tonight. He did, and I'm very happy, very proud of him. I feel, I, I, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel like, um, okay, well, we, hopefully we'll heal something from it soon. What did you think of Wardley and Webb? Could it have gone on a little bit more? I, I felt like he should have given a count, right, because, but there was no complaints from anyone on the Webb team, do you know what I mean? And I don't believe he would have got up, but I felt the ref panicked, that's what I thought. I mean, it was such a wild round, wasn't it? No, Fabio was taking some hammer, and then he's and then he's like he's under it, and then the ref, the ref's like you know one of them. So like, whoa, 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 just stay calm. He's on the floor already, or he's leaning up against the ropes. Give him a count, you know, count him one, two. I don't think he would have got up to be honest with you, but I felt like he should have got a count. But brilliant performance from Fabio because he got it stuck on him, and he just it, I mean it weren't pretty, but it shows he's got plenty of balls against a big big guy. And, you know, he's, 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 he's just doing fantastically well. Ebony Bridges wants, really good, yeah. wants Shannon Courtney. I think, I think you know, Shannon Courtney's going to defend her title. It looks like Ebony Bridges will fight in Lee. I love the fight. I love the rematch. They talk loads of shit to each other. Everyone's going to want to watch it. It's a really good fight. The first one was fantastic. She looked great tonight. Bet Connolly's super tough and she stopped her. And, and that's, that's un, that doesn't happen very often. So, listen, we know... You know, she, she drives the views through the roof and she can really fight Ebony Bridges and, you know, she's going to get a chance. Wins for Akib Fiaz, moves to 7-0 and yeah. and also Johnny Fisher, who moves to 3-0. and Yeah, Akib Fiaz, a good fight um, before the bell. Tough fight, close fight. Um, and I thought Johnny Fisher was outstanding. You know, when we signed him with Sam Jones, we were going to move him really, really slow and we will still move him slow. But the likes of Danny Whitaker, and I know there's, you know, there's obviously levels above him, we weren't expected to fight those kind of guys in the third fight, you know, and he, and he beat him really, really comfortably. So, um, you know, great performance from Johnny Fisher. I'm very excited about his future. Um, OK, final one quickly. Canelo situation. Obviously, you put your tweet out. He'll fight in November now. Correct. Definitely fight in November. Yeah, I mean, we were, you know, we were close again. We got to a situation. Oh, my God, I look absolutely all over the gap. Um, six weeks to go. It was close, but Eddie Reynoso just, I think, just said, look, we're going to fight once this year. Let's just get it right. We'll revisit the Caleb Plant fight and those negotiations, see if they get made. If not, Dimitri Bivol is a, is a definite target for them as well. How does this affect September and end of August for you? We will announce our September show. It's, it's, it's likely we'll, we'll be going uh, in September now, and we will announce that show next not week. Not August 28th? Possibly, but we may do two, or we may just combine it into one show. Okay, roll on to next week, fight camp the last week. Bolotniks and Boatsy. Absolutely. Cash Farouk, Michael Mickinson. Looks like Joe Caldina's is on the bill now and a really good fight. Zelfa Barrett could be added as well. Uh, hope he fits this off. Yes. Um, and Boatsy, Bolotniks. Absolute banger. We've had two featherweight main events. These boys can really punch. Tune in next week, Boatsy, Bolotniks. We end fight camping style. And apparently there's sunshine. Apparently Tuesday, press conference, Fowler yeah, and Liam Tuesday Smith. Tuesday in Liverpool, press conference, Fowler Smith, some banging. The public or not? Limited, limited. Uh, and there are some cracking fights on that undercard. We hope Cheeseman and Williamson's on it. Stay tuned, my boy. Thank you very much. <laughs>